Hello and welcome to LT Plays Death's Gambit. This is part two of my ongoing series as I play through Death's Gambit. So, uh, freshly released Death's Gambit. Now, I love this game. Um, I don't remember being night time last time. But anyway, um, I had just fallen down this pit, which annoyed me because I want to get to that item over there. So, um, let's see what I can do. What is this? Feather upgrade. Whoa. So it is a phoenix. You can tell me whatever you want, but that's a phoenix. They hide in buckets. I can't really see what's down there, so I don't want to go down there. Dude, the animation with the scythe is awesome, as always. There's no way to open this. You do have to have to just break it. Really? I'm just gonna sit here and hit it over and over and over again? Okay, so my stamina's... Oh my gosh, is it regenerating health? Yes, it is. It's regaining health way faster than I can kill it. Maybe if I just keep spamming my my big attacks. I feel like the more damage it takes, the more health it recovers. Yes! I got it. Aura of blood. Let's see what that does. Combo finishers heal for 50% or 5% when above 70% health. A vampiric sprite siphons the blood spilled and shares a portion of its restorative properties. So we can attach this to Aura. So this is a... This was, if we remember, a spell. Where would this be equipped? How do I use items? I don't know. 4 plus 13 is nuts. But my, I don't know what fear does. We don't know yet. Endurance 6, it's at 100. And then I'll probably start increasing my haste. That's right, we have to hold LB. Oh, I like the art that they did. Okay, so the vampiric thing is around me. And then you can actually see the fire coming down the dragon's necks. If you look at that, I think that's a super cool feature. Owl King. Tome of the Owl King. The Owl King, royal only in name, has no subjects of his own to speak of. The hearts of men are just as easily provoked by titles. Plus 5% bonus damage against this boss. Need a boss journal. Open inventory to read it. The Owl King. One immortal tome of two, it looks like. Deal 5% more damage against the boss. The Owl King, royal only in name, has no subjects of its own to speak of, but the hearts of men are just as easily provoked by titles. Hey, I managed to avoid all that. Okay. Already cut that green. All right, so I gotta keep going down. Read transcription. Press A button and hold down on the left stick to go down platforms. Okay, so that's how we drop. I will not be taken by you slimes. No sorry. I uh, press left on the D-pad to change equipped items. Oh, okay. Pick up a crystal bomb. And another crystal bomb, I assume. Fragile courage. Oh, it's an aura. Okay. Increase vitality by 15. It's destroyed if killed. The strength we find in dire times. So, increase vitality by 15? That's nuts. Or, combo finishers heal for 5% when above 70% health. I'm actually going to equip this first. 28. So, my health now. Is there a way I can look at my character's stats? Doesn't look like it. Uh, but anyway, so crystal bombs, unstable crystal, which explodes when thrown, dealing 280 lightning damage, and unstable crystal, jittering with pent-up energy. Okay, so now the sprites are kind of like running around me. V. One sprite, so it's 
Aura of Courage has two. Okay, so that's cool if I just press B, but if I don't, like, put a direction in, it just moves like that. The waves are really interesting how they chose to have those work, but... This one won't do either. Endless. Oh, no, this is the boss. I forgot I gotta press A. Or is this giant golem the boss? I own... What happened to that? I own an Endless. An explanation for another time. Seems we have straggler. Oh no. Don't say my enemy. Trust Ioni. you won't disappoint. For your sake. I'm sorry, Ioni. I have You're to kill you. You're a survivor, you. are you not? It is not too late. Return from whence you came. I literally can't, Ioni. I fell down a pit. There is no one left to return to. You're not the only orphan of war. But perhaps you'll be the last. I love her, like, art piece there. Like, it still looks pixely, but it... Detail enough to look know awesome. that I do this to put an end to tragedies like yours. <laughs> so I kill the people who are less fortunate than me to put an end to their tragedies. And if your sacrifice is necessary to my mission, then so be it. Oh man. Okay. I forgot what that did. What does it do? <laughs> oh, it just allows me to see, I guess? So that's all it did. Okay, it allowed me to see forward. I'm not sure how exactly it hit me there, but... Ooh. Study your attacks. Keep hitting. Anyway. Why did I not? Oh, because I don't have enough energy build up. I just have abundantly more health than she does. Oh, her attacks are pretty fierce. Your meddling will have dire consequences. I'm an acolyte of death. Get off me. Gain a town point. Open inventory to spend it. So this is how we level up our talents. Press start. It's too bad that the eye spell was a one-time use. I didn't even know what was happening. Acolyte's might. Killing enemies gives you soul energy to use for abilities. So I have to unlock this now? I thought I already had it. Generate stamina faster while blocking. Gain 20% damage boost for 10 seconds after regaining a lost phoenix feather. And using a phoenix feather also gains you 15 soul energy. X to confirm. Oh, so now I have this. Killing enemies gives you soul energy to use for ability. So before it was just hitting them. Man, those look like platforms I should be able to jump on. Nope. The boss fight was not that tough. Okay, so I found the third thing. But there's a lot of stuff that I still have back there to go it. Come on, man. There we go. Oh, I pressed RB instead of LB. I didn't get to the ladder before I pressed LB. There we go. Only opens if you haven't used a Phoenix Feather. What is this? So there's a mechanic that makes it so that if you do a perfect run, you get more points. I'm just going to run back. How do I get up there? Can I jump that high? No. So if I use my horse over here, I can get to it. I'm just going to run over here, rest, and then come back. Oh, you can't. Right. So I'm assuming once I leave through the door, it's going to close. But that's like I can still get down here. That Like, I don't know. Level design, design might be confusing me a little bit. I'm not sure. Press RB to use equipped item. So I've been here before. Okay, I'm gonna rest. And probably reclaim. 
sacrifice to reclaim lost plume. So, again, I'm augment feather. Oh. Damage increase? So I can sacrifice my feathers to do more damage. Okay, that's cool. Abilities. So I still don't have any more abilities. 20% for enemy. Level up. So I have 566 health. I don't need any more health. My endurance is 105, so I don't need any more of that. But I will start increasing what my haste is already 5. Stamina regen. I'm going to start increasing my finesse, which is my damage. It's kind of going up in a linear pace, though. Okay, now, before I forget... That was an accident, but... Oh, there's... What's his face? Why is he over there? That's where I just came from. Okay, well. Oh, I forgot that guy was there. Full disclosure. But, uh... Not this guy. Oh, I tried to jump. That wasn't happening. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm... Oh, dragon, right? And he regens too fast for me to kill him. This is an easy way to farm, though. Plus 39 shards? That's crazy. Let's see if I can get... Do I have to climb this just to get over here? Oh, darn it. Right, I wasn't supposed to use any feathers. Okay, well, I can start to... Whoa, okay, that was weird. So, I'm guessing that poison reduces my stamina recovery. Man, am I taking a lot of stamina point damage. Like, I'm not regenerating very fast. What do I know? Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I know about that area. Or was that the area I accidentally fell down? That was, I'm sure, the area I accidentally fell down. Covenant Shield. So, uh, B Toughness, the one we have, is, I believe, C Toughness. Requires 8 strength. I do not have the strength to wield it, though. Sturdy shield emblazoned with a phoenix. The Covenant of Flame are slavers of immortals. Ooh. Using them as infinite energy for manual labor. They are a nation without a name, drawing in converts and disciples from all walks of life. For many, the Covenant is a second chance at new life. So the Covenant is a second chance, and by second chance, they mean you become a slave. I think that's kind of interesting and says some interesting things about this game. 114 out of 80. How did I already get so much again? Um, so finesse, we're going to just keep increasing until it's uh, 10, it looks like. I only need 90 now. All right, I didn't need to go that way. Good thing I like breaking boxes. Don't let them get close. Alright, so that means this way I can get to my chest. Ooh, that was.
was pretty. A quickened plume, new healing feather. Item, restores 170 health when consumed, one second cast. A plume from the legendary phoenix, unleashing its natural radiance has restorative property. Many still believe the secret to immortality lies with the phoenix. Now such a promise seems negligible. 120 health when consumed, 1.5 second cast time. Okay, so I just got an upgraded uh, plume. So because you didn't need to use them, they give you extra. I think that's kind of an interesting choice. I'm not going to say a bad choice, because I don't know yet. Uh, I don't know if that was an NPC I was supposed to talk to. Hold left trigger to block, pressing B while moving to dodge roll. I feel like there's something down here. Possibly somewhere I've just already been, but... It's... Looks like that's a guy. Hmm, where am I? Oh, okay, so this got me back to where I was supposed to go. So we don't want to go that way. the slug you can attack, but I have not managed to get up there yet. So you can slide down the ladder if you just... Use the horse to leap over big gaps. Okay, well, I'm gonna go this way then. And I'm just gonna go this way. Cause, oh, you can destroy the gravestones, too. That sounds terrible, uh, to be totally honest. I need at least 90 to level up, so. Mount. Gorgeous mount animation. Alright, next area. And that was all she wrote. Feels like Legend of Zelda, Rider's Passage. Oh, I can just kill them by running them over. Don't know how I feel about that. Ring that. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that, Jack. Need Crest of Gaia. I'm trying to see what's on that other side there. I mean, obviously you guys can see that, but nothing I can access. So I guess ring the bell. Call horse. Okay, so now I know what the bells do. This is an easy way to farm. You just ride back and forth. Gorgeous scenery. I now have enough souls to level up. So, or are they called souls in this game? Yeah, they're called souls. Like, am I getting them mixed up again? Ah. Sacrifice to reclaim lost plumes. Sacrifice 90 shards. You cannot reclaim. You already have all of your lost feathers. Augment feathers. Damage increase. Okay, 90. Let's upgrade finesse. 10. I like it. That sounds good. Plus one finesse. And it was LT to block. I just never use it. Uh, what is this crab? If I could jump... I don't know. Uh, there's no way to jump up there. It looks like a crab with mushrooms on its back. I wonder what this thing is. Beautiful animation getting on and off. If you are missing phoenix feathers, use the reclaim option at the eye. How do you get... How do you... Anyway, I don't know. I guess I made it through Rider's Passage. That's a dead horse animal. Mount. Screw your owl things. This makes me think of the owl, uh, the king of the owls, or whatever his name was. Oh. Well, I guess I'm not bringing my horse in here, so this must be the next boss. Or the boss, yeah, the owl king. Just like I thought. He blinks with his eyes separately. 
And that is the most disturbing thing to me. I don't know what that is, but okay. Doesn't matter which way he's looking. So I don't want to use my potions because I don't know if there's going to be a chest at the end. I need to not have potions for. Ow. I mean, I, I don't know what happened there. It's kind of a glitchy animation. Oh, don't know what's happening here. Don't know if I want to. He's in phase two. I like how the phases are clearly labeled. So much damage. Ooh. That scared me. Full disclosure. Get away, get away. Recover health. One, one hit will kill me. Ah, I'm taking the health potion. He actually looks like he injects himself with it. Which is weird and doesn't make a ton of sense. Two hundred eight shards and a talent point. And my horsey ran right to me. Immortal defeated. So I can do Inspired Soul gain 20% damage boost for 10 seconds after regaining a lost feather. Still don't know what that means. <laughs> Regenerate stamina faster while blocking. I never block. Soul Feather. Using a Phoenix Feather also gains you 15 soul energy. So that seems like the most common one. Soul Arrows. When out of arrows, you can continue shooting. Consume 5 soul energy per soul arrow. Blood of the Phoenix. Using feathers when over 90% of health removes minor status ailments and restores stamina. Soul Keeper, you do not lose soul energy while standing still. Weapon Master, combo finishers of weapon 1 increase the damage of your weapon 2 by 25%. That's not really. Kill Haste, killing enemies lowers the time of any abilities currently on cooldown by 1 second. Blessing Protection, blocking attacks while below 50% health heals you for 25% of the damage blocked. Limited energy, energy weapons require no soul energy used while you have an, any ability on cooldown. And Aerial Mastery. Combo finishers cause your next air attack to deal four times more damage. Okay, I think I'm going to go this way. Soul Feather. So I guess I missed one of his journals, though. One tone. Percent more damage. I'm not going to break all of them. I think that'd be a little over the top. The animation of the horse freaking out. You guys feel that? It felt like the screen was shaking, so I was worried. They shatter like they're made by wood, but they look like they're stone. It cannot jump up there, but a lot of items. Maybe I get a double jump later. Or jump off walls, Billy, I'm not really sure. I am evidently an idiot. <laughs> I somehow missed the jump there. Yeah, I have my horse. I don't need to call a horse. Another tome. Soul Rend. Oh, it's a new ability. Okay. So I don't even get to look at my new ability until much, much later. So all, oh, okay. And then this is just equipment, sword. So armor, sword, items, key items. Okay, so again, organized very similar to Dark Souls or Blood, Bloodborne. The Blood Souls series, if you will. For some reason, I didn't need to equip it. I just had it equipped. So that's an area I can go to. Uh, it's an area that I have to go 
to. So that's my next area. I think I need to use uh, my bow more because we regenerate arrows and that kind of tells me that I should be using it more often. Ooh, cinematic. Cinematic. So that's an altar to death. So again, the Acolyte's ability was that I could fix death altars. Central Sanctuary. So it looks like there's probably a good amount of NPCs I can deal with here. Uh, I see a ghost. I see a lizard guy. I saw what looked like a shopkeeper. Okay, so I can rest here. I don't know if I want to level up because of reasons. So it's automatically equipped, but Soul Ren, dash backwards and deal damage to enemies at the end of the dash. Applies bleed for 16 seconds. So I have to be I have to be going backwards, I guess. I don't know. That sucks. Do I have my horse? No. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. I did jump up a bunch of mushrooms. Uh, I'm trying to kill this bird, and it's a symbol of death. Nope. If I spam both buttons at the same time... Oh, you can't kill him. Okay. Oh, finally. I thought it might take another sunrise for you to arrive. It is death. <laughs> Who said that? Up here, in your world, the crows are my eyes. Past the city of Aldrin lies Kershura. Within its walls rests Cyrodiil's source of immortality. So is that my job then? You want me to take out Cyrodiil? You must toll the two bells of ascension. Then find the soul vessel that will let you commune with the dead. Alright guys, I understand that it was a Souls-like RPG, but this is getting a little much now. Like, <laughs> the two bells of ascension, the soul vessel, this is just Dark Souls 1. <laughs> but... The dragon firing fire on everybody. Like, I thought maybe they're just making a bunch of bunch of callbacks, but uh, now it feels like they're directly copying the plot of certain sections, which... Okay, it was a great game, so you must hold the two bells of ascension. Then find the soul vessel that will let you commune with the dead. Wait, really? No. <laughs> just smash the source with a rock. Or your head. Either oh my either. gosh. Are you kidding me? Okay, so... <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's a bunch of throwbacks. And then the character's reaction was my exact reaction. So that's actually the more I think about that, the more hilarious that is. No, just smash the source with a rock. All this for you to ferry them once more. So they're immortal, so they were dead, and now they're not dead. Left bumper to climb down. I don't know what's going on down there, but it's a cage door that's closed. Come on, go up the ladder, please. Please and thank you. All right, beautiful waterfall scene that I cannot jump through. You've strayed Lizard. far from your herd, little sheep. Ooh, am I gonna kill this guy too? You've strayed far from your herd, little sheep. Any you might have found here has long since fled. Just as the heavens have scorned that pious knight to her mutterings. Okay, so there's a knight up there, and it's a if girl. If you believe in that sort of thing, I am Bast, emissary of Vildredor. Okay, so another cool name that we know now, Vildredor, which I'm assuming the dragon kin are from. Not that it makes any difference here. Or lizard kin, <laughs> there they are. A crow plume. Have we seen crow plumes before? Quickened plume. Lucent plume. Crow plume. Turns you to the last death idol rested at. The opalescent jet plume of a crow. They have long been the harbingers of death. Their eyes said to be a gateway for him to observe our world. Learn ability, so talk. New blood has congregated with your arrival, little sheep. Sanctuary is in short supply. I imagine there are many who seek a moment's respite. <laughs> Indeed. Does not give us an art for him. I have a proposition for you. Guide more of these lost souls to our little sanctuary. <laughs> and I'll prepare a worthy reward upon your return. Okay. 
Let's try talking to him again. He just has the same thing. So what's the learn ability? Uh, assassinate. 12 second cooldown requires daggers. 7 finesse. I do not have daggers. Quick flurry that deals high damage. Its cooldown resets when successfully dodging an attack. Triples the damage of your next dagger roll attack. Frostbite. A dagger slash. Requires dagger. Requires daggers. And this is a blink. Alright. Breaking the pot did not do anything. Gonna have to be on the outside to do anything with that. Let's see what else is down here first, and then we'll just keep going up. Man, that was actually really fun. But if I want to interact with NPCs, it looks like I'm going to be needed to go this way. So that's where I'm going to go. And the night. Talk. Seeger. Fire, purge thy soul from these tormented lands. She did a really good job of making her sound like she's talking through a helmet, in my opinion. You are not of the Covenant. No, but I wrote among them before. Well. Then you know how futile our expedition is. So I was riding with the Covenant. Return to Vados. There are already too many dead for me to bury. So she was another knight with my company. Or with the people that I was fighting with. The dead are restless, yet you still linger. Yep, I don't know why either. <laughs> Arrogance will be your downfall. The dead have paved my path forward. I intend to honor their sacrifice. If you've no intention of returning, then take this with you. A hastened plume. May it serve you better than its previous owner. Leave then. Before I change my mind and brand you under the Covenant's servitude. Okay, so she's talking about that. Uh, if you remember from the Covenant Shield, we learned that the Covenant actually takes uh, control over immortals. So it is, again, hinting at us being an immortal. But obviously we are because we uh, made a deal with death. Restores 240 health, 33% cooldown reduction for 14 seconds. A feather recently collected from the fallen from the Phoenix. So they are Phoenix! <laughs> The hunters of Nas Naj once attempted to capture the phoenix, intending to pluck all its feathers for profit. It died in their captivity and resurrected in a cataclysmic inferno that devoured the city. So Nas Naj is a city uh, that attempted to claim that a quickened plume. One second cast. What is the cast time for this? Huh. It doesn't say this thing's quick. Uh, it's 33% cooldown reduction for 14 seconds. Okay, talk. Learn a. Leave then, before I change my mind and. Okay, so next. Learn ability. Requires great sword, great sword, long sword, tome. Just requires five intelligent. Radiant, radiate light, illuminating everything around you for 20 seconds. And that's. Create a floating fire orb. Attacking with a tome weapon causes all floating elemental orbs to combine to create a unique attack. So magic and sword. Buy. Phoenix Feather Tough. Increase the amount of healing items by one. I can buy 300 of them. Uh, no, I can buy one of them, I think. So it just increases. Okay, so cost 300 um, souls. Or shards, that's what they're called, but I don't have enough. White birds, again. We saw those at the beginning of the game. Oh, you stirred the birds something fierce. <laughs> you might just be the catalyst we need around here. Those gathered have grown complacent, but what's there to do when staring down death? All right, Jaco, what do you propose? Best we stick together in these trying times. My name's Jaco of Basilis. And it's Jacko, not Jacko, of Basilisk. There's another new place. Peruse my poultry wares, if I may be of use to ya. So he's a merchant. Oh, back for more. Nothing new, I'm afraid. Despite these lands swelling with forgotten treasures. To the west lies the Obsidian Vale, hunting ground for the nomadic Amarog. To the east lies the Bulwark, gatekeeper to the city of Alduin. 
We need to go to the east. If you're feeling exceptionally lucky. <laughs> oh, back for more. Nothing new, I'm afraid. All right. Item properties. Come to hear more about item properties, eh? The higher a shield rating, the less stamina it reduces when blocking attacks. If you're rating shields block 25% more effectively, block 50% more effectively as block 75% more effect. The higher a weapon rating, the more damage it deals per point of finesse or strength you have. Great sword, great hammer, halberd, axe, longsword are all strength scaling weapons. Daggers, spears, scythe, bows are all finesse scaling weapons. Mage, tome, and certain abilities scale with intelligence. Make sure to level up the right stats. If you find an enchanter, you can also upgrade certain items with soul stones and immortalite. Um, it's not voice acting this part. Only weapons, helms, boots, and capes can be enchanted. Helms, Boots and capes. So it's a cape, not a bag. If you feel your inventory has a lot of useless space, you should disenchant item, disenchant them into soul stones. Now carry on, lad. Uh, I don't actually know how to sell. Uh, dragon berries, uh, crow plumes, crystal bombs, sunstones, a cinder bow, magically infused bow. Uh, enemies take 85 additional fire damage over 7 seconds. A weapon favored by those of the Covenant. Their infatuation with fire knows no bounds. Viewing their weapons to purify their enemies with holy fire, just as they sought to purify their past. V Vados Longsword. A standard Vados-issued longsword. Its hilt is decorated like a tree, where its branches form the crossguard. The bloodstains look as though they're blossoms of a macabre tree. Thief Blades. Vados Axe. Zealot's Cape. Vitality plus four. Valuable cape adorned with a bear and stitched inscription that reads... The Grey's Light protect me for all the good that did it. So I think that's what I have. Covenant Shield. Crest of Gaia. So if you remember, I needed this to get into a certain area. A stone emblem that seems to slot into something. A creature's face is carved into this circular stone tablet. Gaians born out of the earth were magnificent creatures that rightly were worshipped as gods by primitive cultures. But something changed that put most of them into an eternal sleep. The mystery of the deep sleep remains a con contentious subject. Interesting. More lore development. I can buy the cinder bow if I want. But I think I actually have the cinder bow, so that would be a waste. No, I have the Lorgoth short bow, which I think is actually better because it's 12 damage versus 6 to 11. So if I un ah, what is happening? Okay, it says 12 damage. Yeah, so no. So if I go to the east, there was something over here. Ooh, I can drop the ladder. So crows mixed with some other birds, and then there's combat that way. Okay, what's down here? Oh, okay, cool. So now I can rest here and then jump up here. So I have 238 shards. I thought that was a good amount. It does not seem like it is a good amount. Come on, come on. I didn't mean to fall. Dude, I... I'm pressing A now. What is happening? I have to, like, wait for the animation to done. Press A, then move. Another one of these guys. And it's not even one that I can, like, easily get to. There's gotta be an ability that gives me a higher jump. Ow. You're the first one of those to actually hit me. Crow plume. Wow, that I can remember. Oh, no. I don't know what is going on with this, but I do not want to mess around. Dang, they do a lot of damage. They strike every one, two, three, four. I don't know, but I killed them faster than they could strike. I don't know how I'm going to get up there. Okay, so that takes me somewhere. He mentioned, but I wasn't paying attention. LTY. Okay, so it hits everything in front of me. Gotcha. Come on, I pressed. Jump. I land on this tree? I cannot. How do I get over there? That's so interesting. Is there something I don't know about? Uh, hmm. I know I'm supposed to go to the west. Okay, if you remember, there is an item on this side. The Leaf of Gaia. What did this do again? All health 
Uh, restores all health and removes minor status ailments. Okay, so I gotta fall now. Come on. Oh, this is another thing that I need the Crest of Gaia for. This way is the way I'm supposed to go. So we both know I don't want to do that. So I'm going to rest, and then I'm going to start heading the other way. Okay, I don't know what that noise was, but that's freaky. Ooh, okay, so I never got a chance to actually talk to Ghost Man that walks around down here. <gasps> Didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> Hope you're chill with that. You don't seem to have any proposition for you. No one teaches scythe skills. I mean I don't know. I guess that makes sense. The action this world will not be forgotten. I could technically gain. Okay, so it's 572. And then if I get. If I unequip that. So 572, and then it is now. 422. So 150 health. So again, it's. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It's 10 per. So I got 40 plus 280. Uh, four, so 4 times 10 is 40 plus 280. That's 320, and my health was at 572. So 320 minus 572 is 252. So you start with about 250 health. That said, every time I go up endurance, I go up two points. So then I have to subtract 12. So that makes it 60, 560. So 260 health to start, because I don't think... Oh, everything I increase makes my health go up. So I'm level 9. Anyway, I'm not going to calculate it here. I am. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 4, 14, 28, plus 20, 48, plus 3 is, so that's 6, 54, plus... 54 plus 40 is uh, 94 plus the 23 that I'm getting in addition, so that's plus 230, so that's 284. So 572 minus 284, what is that? 570, 572 minus 284. That's 288 health about that you start with? Eh. I don't know. All right, well, that's going to be everything for LT Plays, Death's Gambit Part 2. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. It helps out a great deal. Make sure to click subscribe and click the bell notification icon, so that way you can be notified whenever I update uh, new videos. I post new videos every day for you. There's always new content coming out. Thank you for joining me. LT out.